Hey, it's Sean with Kiwi. Welcome back to our series on tarping. The unfortunate part of every tarp job is that it needs to be taken apart at some point. You do all that beautiful work and then you gotta take it off, but it's part of what we do. So when you pull into a receiver location and you're getting ready to take your tarps off, if you have a choice on the location that you're at, try to choose a spot where you've got dry ground and enough space to be able to pull your tarps off and be able to fold them up without being in mud or some other kind of thing that's going to be inconvenient or if you're in a really narrow space. There are some things that you can do to compensate for that, but it's a whole lot easier if you're out in the open. So you can pretty much just tear into it and start uh, taking it apart with the exception of on a lot of loads just like we talked about putting it together you don't want to do too much on one side before you go to the other side the same thing can be true as you're disassembling if you release all the bungees on one side the tarps are going to slide to the other side and a lot of times that'll make it more difficult to get the bungees off on that side so depending on what the load is you may have to leave a few bungees on on the one side before you go and turn the other side loose Okay, once you've got the side of your tarp all freed up, you're ready to start taking it off. Um, most of the time, you can pull from a rear corner and be able to get the tarp off, but it depends on what the load is. That's what we're gonna demonstrate here. If you've been running in rain at all, it's quite possible that there's gonna be water up underneath your tarp. So when you pull this out, it's quite possible you're gonna get water on the ground and, and uh, I've gotten myself wet a couple of times doing that, so be a little cautious about that. And then to pull on a tarp, what I normally do is I go to a corner and I ball that corner up and kind of make it like a rope so that you can pull on it. And then you can pull uh, at more of a sideward angle to get your tarp moving here, or you can pull more of a angle like this to be able to get your tarp moving from the front. Again, watch your footing and watch out for what's behind you so that you stay safe. When you're at the ends, here we're at the front, I've got the sides turned loose already. If you've got a, a load that you can reach the top of, it's good to gather up your end flap and put it up on top of the load if it'll stay up there. And then you can take your bungees off. free up your sides now it's time to think about where you're going to pull this tarp off so if we're going to pull this tarp off to the driver's side of the truck I want to make sure that this corner is up off of the corner of the load and it's not a bad idea to both do both corners but for sure this one needs to be up over the top of the load or when you start to pull on the tarp it's going to catch when you pull tarps off that's a common way for them to get damaged. If there's a sharp edge of some kind and you're pulling that tarp off and it catches on that sharp edge, it'll cut it. So be cautious, do a little extra work if you need to.